Hello guys, welcome to another video with me, Nergate Gamer, because I'm awesome. And <clears throat> we're gonna do it in the dog mod, which is pretty cool mod. Let me say some lesson. Um, by the way, if you want to download this mod, I'll put the description of the page in the sorry, put the link of the page in the description below. By the way, before going in here, you need to create an account for this. I already have my account. You need to literally create your own account if you want to use this, but for now, let's let's I'm um, going to show you guys the majority of this. First, as you can see, there's a single player thing here, right here, click, nice, everything cool. The multiplayer, if you actually download this normally, you can still access all of your normal servers that you have. Okay. So, that's a pretty cool thing. Story mode still not added, sadly. Um, mods are all installed. Basically, all mods that you need to check out. Um, options. As already the team. These are the creators of the mod. Um, say hi to John if you see him or something. He's already that guy. The sport is already themed. Dog mode form thread. Skin packs aren't available here, but they are actually available when you're actually using the mod, which is weird. You can't use them in the title screen, but you can use them in the mod. See, that's it. Update video, which are really good. I suggest you watch them. Demo private. If you have a really high rank, you can actually go into this private server. Or you can just normally go into the green bars, which is like everybody can go in server, which is the server I go in. So I'll show you later. Okay, so going into the majority here. And there we go, we're inside. And let's start off the mod showcase with. Um, actually, I'm gonna show most of these things, but we have, we have clothes and spacesuits. Mobs, TARDISes, Sonic Security Arms, and other Sonic devices, weapons and armor, and special blocks. I'm pretty sure I did not miss anything. Yes, I did. Okay, so guys, I know you're about to say, like, what the heck are you doing? But I just forgot some of the most important parts about this mod. God, I'm stupid. Sorry, guys, I know this is really annoying. But don't worry. So, let me go back. Oh, and yes, my skin is back! Finally! I get my Naruto headband, my Death Star, my TARDIS, my finest Freddy's cupcakes, and my NGG in the back. I love the skin with all my life. I actually made this one for Pocket Edition. And it worked. So, um, let's start out with. Um, I'm gonna go weapons and armor, just because. We have actually Dalekanium armor and steel boo and steel armor with a steel sword and Dalekanium armor comes with Dalekanium sword and Dalekanium and Dalekanium battle hats. Dalekanium battle hats does its attack damage is like it's one less than a diamond sword. That's why I recommend brass, which you'll see where it comes from in a few minutes. Brass sword, brass pickaxe, the Doctor's spoon, and Ace's baseball bat. Now. Um, yeah, these are special blocks which you just saw a peek of a few times. So we have also some screwdrivers. Um, if you want to see how the weapon, how the armor looks like on, I'm gonna take it real quick. Yeah, yeah. When you put the Dalekanium armor on, it looks actually kind of fancy in a way. Let me show you from the back. Look, I like it. I actually, it's power is more powerful than diamond. And steel is actually, I believe, it's equal to diamond. But it has like the Cyberman cylinder in the middle, so we put the Cyberman. It's cool, but it's it's not my favorite. I love Dalekanium. I love Daleks in general. There's like that one person in the comments is gonna be like, "Well, man, if you love Daleks so much, you're gonna get exterminated." Yeah. Um, and you guys are probably wondering because I already said this. Brass pickaxe. Why did you include pickaxe in the weapons and armor, not tools? Well. It does 7 attack damage. Is it equals a diamond sword? Like, Pikachu and diamond sword. That's good enough with me. Brass sword is personally my favorite. I get sharpness 5 on this thing. I literally have a sword in a survival world. 
that I actually got with serv with sharpness 5. It does 15.5 attack damage. Looks beautiful. The Dr. Spoon, which if you have seen that episode with Robin Hood, you might recognize this. And Ace of Space of Bat from the Sylvester McCoy era. Let's actually... Okay, I need to go look for something real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, F1. Sorry, must have done something there. Let me check that's actually going. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Once again, sorry for the little words on the screen. I know it's kind of annoying. I just have to go get this beautiful wampum. I'm enchanted to have uh, charmness a hundred. My beautiful. So let's go into the clothes and spacesuits. I'm actually gonna put this up here for now, so it's not that annoying. I'm gonna grab most of these actually. Let me grab this whole line. Yes, I know I can just do this, but that's just kind of untidy. But anyway, um, I'm gonna actually put these on. You have a fez, and what fez can I go without a bow tie? Hello, I'm the doctor. What can I help you with? This actually will look pretty cool with this one of the song screwdrivers, which are gonna come up in a few seconds. You have the gas max from that episode that some of you may remember, season one of New Doctor Who. Are you my mommy? Mommy, mommy, are you my mommy? Just saying that creeps me out, cause. Yeah, some of you may just be saying like, you're scared of that? I'm not. Um, think about this as a child that's possessed, kind of, with a gas mask. Merged into his head, walking towards you. You are, you are totally not scared of that. If it touches you, it creates you into it. It's creepy. This, I know this makes no sense at all, but this is actually how my, I like to look. Fourth Doctor Scarf. How much I love it. And also the 3D glasses, which are from the 10th Doctor in Doomsday, which I also love it. So this is actually how I like to look like, just to make it an extra dose of nerdy. Because why not? Anyway, so... I'm actually gonna stay like this for the rest of the video. <laughs> oh, never mind. I need to take it off for now. Oh, sadly. I got the third Doctor Scout, uh, which looks pretty nice, I think. It actually does look a lot like it from the show. If you guys have not seen the third Doctor, he's, a, he's one of my top five favorite Doctors. He's such a great. Okay, so this is the first Doctor, the first Doctor's hat, and it looks really retarded in a way, but. It's actually really cool when he put it on. It's just that um, he has a circle of head and we have squares. It's actually pretty cool. It actually lets you see through because if you actually see my eyes normally, those are actually how my eyes look like. So it's pretty cool if you ask me. Yeah. 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 So I think it looks pretty nice. I um, already showed you the bow tie and Sylvester McCoy's hat, or the Seventh Doctor's hat. I wish he, I wish we had his umbrella. I think the old version of this mod has his umbrella. Um, by the way, say in the comments if you want me to showcase the old version of this mod, which had a lot more things than this right now because they're updating a few things. It's still in this mod and they're re-adding stuff. I'm probably gonna do the mod showcase on the 44th update because this is right now update 43. Still like I'm kind of in a beta way, but it's still it's pretty nice. So, yeah, if you want to become the ultimate fourth doctor, also here's a this is the fourth doctor's hat and a good old scarf. But anyway, um, yeah, we also have the second doctor's coat. Which I actually remember, this is such a pretty nice. It's furry. <laughs> it's big. And I have. Look at this thing, it's ginormous. Ah, it's good for London, but. God, can you imagine this in Arizona? 
What was I saying? Oh yeah, Arizona. Sorry. Like I was saying, this is a Sith Doctor's coat. It's really colorful. It actually looks like it a lot. I think this needs to be a little more green. Yeah, but it looks like it a lot. And it's actually really cool. Okay, the top hat. Yeah, I like top hats. Top hats are, top hats are cool. Hello, good morning to you, my good sir. Get this with a black bow tie, and that's gonna be awesome. Oh, oh and yeah, let me show you something real quick. You can literally color your fez and your bow ties. So, if, let's say this could go great with a black bow tie. There we go. Black bow tie. So, yeah, that's something that's really cool that they added. Then that wasn't in the old version. In the old version, you only had like red fez and red bow tie. It's this jacket from the Sylvester McCoy era. She had. If you're wondering what the heck are all those things there, she actually has a lot of patches in her original jacket that they couldn't replicate here. So go check it out on Google, like put Aces Jacket Doctor Who, like right here. It looks pretty cool. The Stetson from when the 11th Doctor got shot and in 2010 and supposedly killed, but we all know he didn't get killed. So I'm pretty sure that does it for the clothes. Now we're going for the spacesuits, which are some of my favorites. I think I still have the top one. No, never mind. This is the Doctor spacesuit, which I love it so much, and it looks so good because you can still see yourself. It's like this is Doctor incoming. This is the spacesuit that 11th, 10th, and 12th have all worn in all their separate seasons so it's pretty cool to see that they made a version for it for this mod so it's pretty nice yes me they also have nasa spacesuit yeah which looks also pretty darn nice and i know what you guys are thinking spacesuits so so we survive in space no no actually does that you it's weird. This is for Scaro. I will show you later. Because every single time it rains on Scaro, it will not be normal rain. It will be acid rain. Which means you will get burned. Which means you need a spacesuit. Now, this is NASA's orange spacesuit. Which was actually used in a few of episodes, I'm pretty sure. I think this is. Wait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is. Death of the Moon? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is from Season 8. Pretty sure. It's, it's, all, it's still a cool spacesuit. By the way, guys, tell me in the comments if the click and still survived. Um, this is the SWD space program suit helmet. And the whole piece of armor, which is basically suit torso, suit leggings, and suit boots. So, the team, like I already told you, are the creators of this mod, so of course they need to have their own spacesuit. But. Technically, I like more the doctors. If you ask me, I like it way more. Anyway, like I was saying, now that I did all the clothes, Alonzi. <clears throat> anyway, um, let's go Sonic screwdrivers and no other Sonic devices. No. By other by Sonic screwdrivers and other Sonic devices, I mean like the Sonic Blaster, but. We have the Sonic Shades. Ugh. God, why do I have to take it off? The Sonic Shades, as you can see, makes it look really weird, but every single thing you see actually has a name. 
Except if it's too weird. Because there are some blocks, let me just fly over real quick, that have no ID for them. Which the Sonic Screwdriver now can check because the Sonic Glasses can't. The Sonic Shades, sorry. And if you press, if you press R in your keyboard, it does a Sonic Screwdriver to sound, which is pretty darn cool if you ask me. This is the seventh Doctor Sonic. Wait, then can be multiple of Sonic. Wait, wait, I did not notice. No, it can. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be just added to the future. Yeah, but as you can see, this one actually looks real cool because it will tell you if it's from creative or is it from like you build it in survival. Which, by the way, the crafting recipe for these. Um, if you actually want to check these out, you will have to go to download this mod and go to the server. That is basically right now the one of the only places that you can actually see all the crafting recipes, which I'll probably show you later. But for now, here are the screwdrivers, seventh, thirds, which is one of my favorites. Yeah, they're pretty cool. And then we got eleven Sonic screwdriver. And by the way, these actually look pretty cool. These all have really cool textures. Besides, tenth looking like a giant thing. Pretty cool, and you can actually scan organisms with these, which I'll show you later. Then we have tents, which is pretty cool. And then we have the Sonic Blaster, and you're wondering why are you putting all that stuff there? So yeah, the cool thing about a Sonic Blaster is you can literally blast a hole through a thing, and like that, and it will disappear in a short time period. So it's actually pretty cool the way it works don't get stuck oh almost you, you can actually like literally like in the show you can just like oh no we're trapped dun 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 i just trapped myself i know it dun 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 oh mama holy mama holy mama holy mama okay so yeah don't worry anything you delete with this will be straight up replanted as you can see so it's actually pretty cool that it just puts them puts it back is it pretty cool the original version of this could only like i'm pretty sure that you can only right click stuff and will come back the block it was originally so it's kind of a cool that they added that new feature which i think is pretty cool anyway let's do let's put all the stuff back so i can put on my pretty glass <clears throat> i already showed you the weapons and armor so I think I'm gonna put my one punch sword in my hand and go check out the mobs. Now, <coughs> as you may notice, you say like for a mob that big, those are all the mo mobs that the mod has. No, Daleks are around 50, and Audons are around 15. So is the uh, Gas Max zombies. Like I'm just gonna show you right now. Okay, mobs. Look at the majority of Daleks. The majority are just they're so cool on the gauze masks and everything. They're all here, but it's too much. Too much. So if you want to see all of them, go and click on the description so you can download this mod. Because I think the guys will really appreciate it. And so let's go. Why am I doing this? This is a people. So let's go first with the Cyberman. Um, I do have a testing area over here just in case something might happen Because some of these are highly explosive This is the classic Cyberman Oh god that fire though Give me a second Cyber The lag is real So let's move over here so we don't hear that annoying sound um, okay, so yeah, um, I'll show you the deal those of both of these then. This is a Cyberman from the new era, 10th Doctor to 11th, but, but they still don't have the new, new one. This is the classic Cyberman. They're not doing the sound. Oh, there we go. When they walk around, they do like a stomping sound, like they normally do. And they also kill villagers and turn them into cyber villagers, which look pretty nice. We also have the cyber leader, which has this brain showing off. 
with a black helmet, which looks pretty. This is my life. Shut up! Thank you. Oh god. Okay, it's getting annoying. It's getting annoying. Die. Delete. 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 Okay. They drop off steel, which then you can create steel armor and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool. You also have, we also have the 10th planet Cyberman, which if you're asking what the heck is a 10th planet Cyberman and that looks retarded, this is how the Cyberman originally looked like. Yes. When the first Doctor and first encountered the Cybermen, they looked like really retarded machinery. From a pa from uh the one from Earth's twin, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Which made the first Doctor regenerate into the second one, which started the whole regeneration cycle. So thank you. Well still have to kill you. So you just learned a quick fat fact with Nergy Gamer. Anyway, yeah. let's go home, Mama. Let's put the mobs. Doop, deep, doop, deep, doop. Let's go with the atoms. Eh. I'm actually gonna do them over here. I know this is gonna be a bad idea. Some of them might explode. There are a ton of skins for the atoms, and you can, as you can see, they're actually open in their hand. As you can, as you may already know, they actually live in plastic, so they actually open their hand and they actually have a gun inside there. These are supposed to be mannequins, which is pretty cool. We have other add-ons as well, like this one, they actually all have different clothes, which are pretty cool. And if you're wondering, okay, so yeah, those are from the first episode of Doctor of New Doctor Who. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's also some from the third Doctor era because he's, I think, I'm pretty sure he's the first Doctor that encountered the Autons. But, um, oh my god, I'm saying so many ums. Someone in the description put in, put in, someone in the comments below put how many times I said um in this video. Good to be loud, isn't it? Anyway, like I was saying. Um, it's actually pretty cool the way it works and if you actually can find it um, I didn't find it in the spawnic sadly but there's actually a Rory Cyberman like when he Cyberman Auton like when he got turned into an Auton and it's actually pretty cool like there's literally a Rory one that you can actually find in the wild but it's not a spawnic but it is on the skin pack which I will show you um, after I finish the mobs here we have all the different three clockworks that we had in that episode for the, the doctor. As you can see, they give out a piece of clockwork, which is basically what you you need to put this in a furnace so you can create brass. And brass, as you may already know, does the most powerful weapon in the game. Oh yes, and also this. With chunks of plastics, you can actually craft your TARDIS because you can actually make blocks, which you can do the LEGO Dimensions TARDIS, or you can actually um, create sonic shades, which is pretty cool. But actually, you still need to have it like the smelt piece up here, and the normal piece right here, and a stick here to create the brass sword, which is a pretty nice detail if you ask me. Because it goes details to the mods. Now, my suggestion is right now, and yes, this ones do a weird sound but weirder than this I'm pretty sure it's not going to get so I'm gonna su suggest this right now guys put the volume a little bit down if not there might be a chance that are you my mommy might kill your ears ready I am my mommy. okay it's not that big of a deal but still I so, am my mommy. see what I mean as a scar right there as a I than normally had in that episode. It's pretty cool. And there's a chance that when you kill them, you might get the mask. I am my mommy. I am and there's my all their versions. And they can actually, they can actually kill mommy. villagers. And they will actually turn villagers into... I am my mommy. Until I am my mommy. gas mask makes. 
Where are you, you demon child? That was actually an adult. Yeah, adults and children are the same thing for me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, mobs. Here we go. It's pretty cool if you ask me. Now we're going to the snowman from... Oh my god. It was the first episode that Clara... Yeah, it's a fir I know it's a season 7 part 2, the first episode of season 7 part 2, because that's after death of Amy and Rory. That's what I know. So let's start off with the weird one. It's This is the Ice Snowman. Just because of the 3D glasses. Somebody made, made this an idea, and look. It's great for making a selfie. Hey, look, we're selfie bros. Hey, man, want to do? Want to take a selfie? Screenshot. Yeah. Just because selfies are cool. Anyway. So, yeah, after that, we have the snowman with the mouth closed and snowman with the mouth opened. They're all cool and they may they normally drop snowballs. But still it's actually a pretty cool mob in my opinion. It's a pretty nice mob. Yeah. I grabbed a few Daleks because I wasn't going to review the whole bunch. But I did choose a partial thing that might look pretty cool. And dogs are known for running off. And there's actually a pretty cool thing. I'm actually gonna spawn Cyberman later. God, wrong side, wrong side, wrong side. Lag is so real. Exterminate! If you got scared, comment in the comments below, because it did not scare me. I just love Daleks. Exterminate! Stay where you are! Stay where you are! So you might recognize these five. These are the five new Daleks added to the 11th Doctor series. The drone Dalek. Um, uh, yeah, because we have the strategies Dalek, the scientist Dalek, the supreme Dalek, the eternal Dalek, and the drone Dalek, which all look so cool. We also have the special weapons Dalek, which has that really cool goldy look from the um i'm pretty sure this is from the um imperial daleks yeah i'm pretty sure this are from the imperial daleks which i'll probably show you this one actually has special sound effects than to all the other daleks and this one in this version it's not actually explosive the, for the other version it's really explosive Stay where you are. This, my good friend, is a Supreme Dalek from the 10th Doctor era, which looks really cool. Stay where you are. And the controller Dalek, which is also really nice. And they all have different sound effects, which I'll probably show you. But for now, I'm going to grab one Cyber Leader and watch as Hivik reigns. <laughs> They exterminated it. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna one punch these things real quick. And no, they don't drop as that much Dalekanium. Because the thing that I actually drop it it is Dalekanium. But because I'm using this sword with looting, I don't know how much it actually drops a lot. But yeah, that's Dalekanium, which is why you need to grab Dalekanium stuff. Spring Dalek, I'm gonna kill you, and I'm gonna kill also you. So you can hear the special sound effects from this Dalek. Oh yes, and it can fly when it's being angered. Did he just get killed? Oh god. Oh, so when fighting Cybermen they explode? Okay, so I knew they exploded like in the original version of the Dalek mode for 1.7.10. But I didn't know they exploded, no, like, I'm killing that, oh, nice. See, you, you learn a thing every single time you do a mod showcase. I don't know why, but I think, feel like every single YouTuber just learns something new every single time they do a mod showcase. Like, literally, like, watch different mod showcases, and sometimes they always find something new sometimes. So now let's go for the harmless ones. Well, yeah. The little adorable 
Addy Pros. It's so cute. Die. That's a really big shadow, by the way. So, yeah, they actually included it. It's pretty cool. And we also have the K Man spawner. Which, once you spawn it, this cannot be found normally. And it cannot be tamed. You need to spawn it from a spawner so it can follow you. Should will. And it will actually attack things for you. Like, let's say I have another pulse here. I'm gonna punch him. I said, I'm gonna punch him. No, barely. We're not gonna do this, Kanan. Okay, then. Okay. Kanan, come back. There we go, man. That's my good boy. Um. Auto. Oh, I need to be in survival for this, don't I? I'm not gonna do it because I risk my mod showcase, so sorry, Kanan. Oh my god, I just felt the. Uh, did anybody just feel like a little bit of karma that's going to happen some time soon? God. Tardises! There's a lot of them. And you have a Tardis key. I know the small one will actually like, take a few minutes or more to review. I'm gonna grab all of these. Some warning. Some do have repeated interiors, but all its interiors are in fact different. No, like literally all, literally all uh, its interiors are different. And the TARDIS key. The TARDIS key is pretty important. Maybe that's me. God, my flying just went a little bit downwards there. So. I'm gonna start off. Uh, I don't need my sword in my hand right now, so I'm gonna put my TARDIS key here. With the first patch of the TARDISes, in my opinion, look really cool. Here's the first TARDIS you get. This is like the, the default TARDIS. You have also this version. They all look god. Sorry. They all look cool. In their own perspective. In my opinion, they all look cool. Yeah, this one has like the 10th Doctor feel. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna leave those there. Because these actually... I'm pretty sure all of these have the exact same interior. So, I'm just gonna check so I don't befuffle myself. I'm gonna go to inside this one. Let's see, yeah, this one. You just right click to open, and you need to right click down here because that's actually a tiny block. You need to shift right click to bound a TARDIS key. So now every single time you want it to move somewhere, when you after you shift right click. Yeah, I know, the least water. So that's pretty cool. Then you just right click. Yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. Then you open it, go in. And as you can see, this is the Peter Capaldi interior. I'm gonna show you. It's pretty cool. It, when you walk around, it actually starts lighting up and it will stay lit up after you walk around it. Chalkboards, these are actually backwards, but you can actually draw on them, which is pretty cool. You, um, pretty sure some TARDIS actually come with them. Yeah, it's the Peter Capaldi's ones are glitched. They come with shears and the lever that you need to travel and the intercom. I'm sorry, the uh, the monitor, which I won't show you yet because that's a surprise that's going to be later. One minus. Here, this one has the exact same. Yeah. Some of them are repeated, so do be careful for that fact, because a lot of them are usually repeated. 
It's sadly annoying. And yeah, they might have the glitch that you actually open the door and you can walk inside of it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I like these effects a lot, personally. Um, hello, TARDIS, my good friend. Hello, TARDIS, my good friend! Ah, oh, my eardrums. My ears. God. Oh, yeah, which one was that one? Which one was that one? Oh, yeah, the Dalek Mod D. Yeah, this one actually has a different uh, interior. And if you're wondering, where's the TARDIS door? The original TARDIS doors look like this. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, give, give me some moments. Yeah, so, sadly, only says TARDIS. So, yeah, that's, that's good to remember. Okay, so let's go for the other batch. And by the way, they're gonna, I'm actually gonna check, I'm actually gonna try to go for the ones that have the same tier. So I can not bored you to death. I'm pretty sure this one has the same interior. Yep, that's the same interior. I'm pretty sure these have a different, yep, it's like this one. Because they don't touch that pretty strong, so I see. So I'm gonna go for the beta. These all look real nice, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put the TARDIS version five, the Gamma exterior, and yes, I'm gonna go through each one and every single one of these. So if you guys want to see them, so if you guys are hey, you're lying. No, this this is my favorite. Uh, my favorite. Um, God. Exterior because when you normally open a TARDIS See it looks like the normal police box like it was originally But this one actually like looks like a greenish so, Yeah, this one's gonna get a special Interior on the 44th update so stay tuned for that and I'll probably much showcase it Open sesame Oh Eardrums of course, of course, it starts raining. Yeah, sadly, they're all slash toggle down fall. They have all the exact same interior, sadly. God, why is it so laggy? God. Yeah, well, sadly, once again, same interior. But don't worry, I'm leaving the coolest ones for last, so you actually get entertained. It's the cool ones, are the cool ones. Yeah. Oh, ah, flip. Once again, looks pretty cool. Yeah, they all look pretty nice. Now, Clara Tribute. Tardis. Which I'm pretty sure this is just like the death of Clara Oswald. I still have not seen that episode, so I'm afraid I'm, I'm gonna spoil myself. Okay, so I'm guessing you're next on the Lego Dimensions Tardis. Yeah. Oh, and the uh, Bill and Ted's phone booth. Yeah, that was a great movie. Sadly, once again, same interior. It's kind of annoying. The Lego Dimensions Tardis actually look, opens real cool. Because it literally looks like the Lego Tardis from Lego Dimensions. And the way it opens, see, it's really cool. It opens like the one that like in Lego Dimensions. I wish they make a special one for this, like a special interior, like the Lego Dimensions one, which is technically what they already did. So yeah, 
still in its phone booth, which is really cool. Just bigger on the inside, cause why not? Once again, same interior. And I know this is going to be just like uh, me saying same interior at this point, but it's going to get better. Trust me. Yeah, this is like TARDIS with the collaborator view on it, which. If you guys can tell me the, about this tribute, because I'm pretty sure you still haven't seen that episode from season 9. So, yeah, you guys. If it's too much of a big spoiler, I haven't finished season 9. I need. To, I still need to watch 4 episodes of season 9 to finish it. So, don't make it a huge spoiler. Two. Okay, so let's start going to the cool ones 1963 TARDIS and the War Doctor's TARDIS. Now, these do have. Other interiors. This is 1963 TARDIS, and uh, uh, looks nice. Huh? It I actually like how this one looks. It just looks real nice, and it comes with a chair which you can actually sit in. Um, I actually found this. You can do like a tiny parkour in it, and looks pretty cool. It'll come with different buttons. Um, this space right now is for the flight control and the monitor. If you want to add one. It comes with this tiny little closet. This little space back here if you want to build your own stuff. It comes with a chair and everything. Music. Nice. Oh, it needs to be activated. And it comes also with a dropper, which is pretty cool. And it is actually has two doors one over here and one over here. And I'm gonna prove it. It works. So, yeah. I'm also gonna put the 80s. And the Bad Wolf. For sure, yeah, if you're wondering, the Bad Wolf, just like, that just looks like the older ones. Bad Wolf. Now, this interior, I personally love it. And I'm pretty sure you guys already saw it in the past video I did. But... I know you guys, what you guys are thinking. Hey, doesn't isn't that's not the same stock that you used? No, because um, there's actually a TARDIS blocks thing which you can get all TARDIS blocks. So if you want to build your own thing, suggestion: get the DSN5 rotor. It looks way better. Just break that, break that, break that, break that, and put this block down, and that looks already way better. Now, how to make this better? I suggest white stained glass should be added okay there because then it looks a lot cooler so that actually looks a lot cooler than the original thing that they give you so yeah suggestion and you're wondering what the heck is that you'll see you'll see I'm actually gonna leave this. No, never mind. I actually have my own. What I was saying. Oh, God. 80 starters. I'm, I'm actually gonna start putting these ones up here so I don't get confused. Doctors. 80s. Um, Battle of I already put down. I guess I need to put these two down. And so that one apparently you right click or something? What the heck did I just do? Wait, guys, give me a second. Oh yeah, apparently this one you only right click, it's like the old ones. Hmm. So that's cool if you want like a fast thing. But I, no, it's not my thing. Bad Wolf, I'm pretty sure it also has the same interior as the one I just saw. Let it, the lag pass. Yeah, same interior. Oh, I grabbed two with the same interior. Why did I do that? Okay. So I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put these last ones, which I do in fact know these all have different interiors. The fridge TARDIS. I know it sounds weird. And the tree TARDIS with the ultimate camouflage. These are not part of the show, these were actually just like custom made. Yeah, I know it sounds weird. This one I personally love it. Because this one you don't have blocks for the console. The console is literally already made with the switches and everything already made into the console. Which is 
fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, and there's also this back here. Yeah, I'm gonna need a ghost echo. I already checked, this does nothing sadly. But that's a really cool interior if you want to get it. Yeah. Here's the tree TARDIS. This one has a really cool interior. Oh, never mind. There we go. So this is literally organic. And it looks so darn good. And these vines will continue to grow, so it will get even messier, which is the cool part. And personally, I personally love this TARDIS so much. This unique feel. It's so good. Just, just, it's a big tree. And it's a TARDIS. It's Earth Day TARDIS. That's what this is. And it's, and I just find it amazing. As all of you may know, the, the TARDIS or doesn't actually look like a police box. It originally looks like a TT capsule. Like this. You open it. And you go in. So, this already looks a lot cooler. And yes, it has a sexy interior, but it also looks pretty nice. Let me break this. Uh, where's my dog? There's my dog. She's barking. Okay, heads are gone. No. The hexagon is my life. And the tar 20, 20 TARDIS. And the rest of 10 TARDIS. I'm gonna show the hexagon first. Because it looks so good. I don't know, I said that way too much, but it just does. Go in. And look at this. Look at this beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful beauty. Are you seeing this? This is so fantastic. This amazing. Like, look at the book. Just you can literally see space from here and everything, which looks so amazing, personally. And it's just amazing. It's fantastic. What else can I say? Oh, nice. I love to watch. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say I love to watch Earth. This might look retarded. Yeah, they're just saying, what the hell is that? This is a survival TARDIS. And it looks cool because you can actually replicate this in normal survival. And when you go in, it's literally all made with survival blocks. Well, besides the things that you actually need to operate it, so it actually works. It's made out of survival blocks, which is so amazing, and it just looks so good, and I love it, love it, love it. It just looks so amazing, like, whoever designed this. And Oh, wait, actually, yes. Okay, give me a second. If you want to see who designed this, they will actually say it. Um, you, they will, you need to all break open the wall and get out of the TARDIS. Um, actually, I could show you how to do that right now. Let me grab the blocks. So I can fit this back after I ma massacre. So, oh, good. So, yeah. These are actually TARDIS dimensions, which have all exteriors, which is pretty cool. And I want to see who made this. Do they actually have it? These are, these are all the people who made this exterior and interior, which is pretty nice. And I literally love it. I love it, love it, love it. So, thank you to all the guys who want to see it, just pause the video. Now, let's... Yeah, and it actually says it backwards. Which is so cool. So, let's get out. You literally just need to right click there. And you will get out. Fantastic, huh? And now, my favorite one, there is an intent artist. Why? <laughs> Look at this beauty! Somebody actually managed to replicate 11th TARDIS. Personally, my favorite is 10th Doctor, but this just looks so good and it's the biggest out of all of them. Like, I'm gonna show you real quick. Like, let me go up here. It has corridors. 
in so many corridors and they all look so cool and they just look so good and they also have so much detail and if you want you can actually like break off these parts these bricks you cannot actually get them so you can actually make your own extensions to the TARDIS and quick easter egg if you ever get one of these TARDIS press this lever okay it sometimes works but sometimes in some of these TARDISes you might actually get a helmet from pressing this lever so it's pretty cool oh and yes you have a tiny swing that the doctor used to repair his TARDIS sometimes which is pretty cool I just love how this looks it's just so amazing so fantastic so yeah I guess that literally means we're done with the TARDISes well I thought this new day would never come so the special blocks okay so I'm um, the video is getting kind of long like uh, let me check oh yes the video is getting way too long so yeah I'm, I'm gonna show you the last few things because if you're wondering the DeLorean and the Doctor and all that stuff how I got those are, are going to be in the special blocks tell me in the comments below if you want me to do a mod tokens just based off the special blocks which look amazing and can bring you these stuff like the TARDIS this is actually just a TARDIS thing so you know if your TARDIS fits off but this will actually tell you things and stuff like that like about Gallifrey Falls and everything and you can actually get different Hologram so you can put all the skins of your favorite people like all my friends that I have here subscribe to their channels um, I'm subscribed to them. You just need to check them out donkey place Shane white YT, um, My good friend butter Jay Hulk god king um, Starflight 23357 and um, The player thoughts really good friends of mine. Please subscribe to them. They're awesome But don't ask about that whole Let's go into my TARDIS, which I know what you guys are saying. Um, that steer is the one of the other one, right? No. This is my custom TARDIS, and I know what you guys are thinking. That looks exactly like the other one. No. I actually added some things. I chairs, stuff like that. I still need to add some things that I added to my other one. Like this one. Yeah, I actually added this to my other one. Right. So. If you have a monitor, any monitor will do, you can actually get all this whole thing. Which you can literally travel through coordinates in other planets, and you actually can use this thing called the chameleon circuit. Which you can use it to use, change it to all the different exteriors from this whole mod right here. So, you actually have the planet. Selection like Minecraft, Nether, Skaro, the Moon, Minecraft, um, Classic, and Cave Game, which is so cool. I just find it so amazing. And I will show you this on my first Let's Plays on my server, and I will show you officially how to do that. If you want to demat, might dematerialize. I'll do the sounds. If you want to rematerialize, this is like a TARDIS command block. You need to put TARDIS commands here only. And the flight panel, my favorite block ever. Doesn't this just look amazing? Just put the Doctor Who music in the background real quick. Like amazing. It tells you the coordinates and everything. You can literally fly the TARDIS. Okay, so think about this. You're flying. It looks like Gmod. Like if you ever see a Gmod video on the TARDIS mods for Gmod, you they literally fly like this, and it's awesome. Like you're literally flying the TARDIS. Is it? I'm wondering how the hell do I control it? So this is basically like if you're flying a normal creative, it's basically the same things. If you hit control, it will spin a little bit more rapidly and it may get out of control, which is pretty cool. 
then you basically just shift to land and we'll do the sound then shift again to get out this mode one tells you to and you have landed that as you may have already seen that's my other part of my TARDIS and yeah it's invisible for me right now because I just got there and doing some things and yeah also if you want to see with the special blocks you might also get these things so yeah um oh god nice nice way to do an outro anyway guys if you want me to do special blocks tell me in the description below for now i'm actually gonna in the comments sorry for now i'm gonna finish this video right here i hope you guys liked it it was pretty cool to do i loved it and i hope you guys loved this video so much as i did and i'll see you guys next time see ya later Sorry. See you later.